Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be hopping into the new uh, weekly races, the Group C cars, or whatever these are called, prototypes, I don't know. Um, anyway, I bought this Toyota uh, right before this race, hopped into practice, did uh, three qualifying laps, and we qualified in third. We're not too far off of second here. First place is, seems to be very quick. Uh, but behind us, it's, the gap seems to kind of open up. So uh, main goal is don't die on turn one. And if we can do that, I think we'll have a pretty good race. Let's hop into it and see what happens. Stream here. Hopefully, he doesn't pull too far away. guy who qualified on pole quit after he went off the track back there. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have tried these races yet or tried these cars yet and what your experience has been like. Uh, you know what what cars have you picked how have you how have you fared in your races with it uh, I will mention that I have a a very basic and mostly untested tune for this car um, it's like I said I bought the car hopped into this race slapped a quick tune on it did some practice, some qualifying, and, you know, here we are. So, uh, it's, I'm certain it's not the fastest tune, or the best tune, but, um, it seems to be okay. So if you guys want to try it out, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and publish it uh, after this race is over. Looks like that guy in first has taken off. Oh, and, and there's the guy that qualified pole. He is still in the race. 
slowly catching up to us. I'm glad that he didn't quit, because he, he was definitely the fastest uh, guy out here, and there's still a lot of race left, so... That was better than last time, but... and you know these top two guys in this Nissan um, I think it might be the favorite car for this series I just like I said this is my first race in this series so I'm really not sure but uh, I may wind up giving that car a try in another video just to see if I'm any faster in it or if how that goes. She's, he was running like a second a lap faster, you know, before the race. It seems like that's about the pace he's on now. So rather than over defend and potentially ruin both of our races, just go ahead and let him by uh, without too much fuss. Oh, it looks like that other guy hit. Uh, maybe he's going for the undercut. I, in my experience, uh, you want to be faster on your second stint. So you want your fresher tires for your second stint. Uh, the tire wear on this car actually doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we're still not even in to minor wear yet. I'm sure it's going to happen any moment. Oh, and as soon as I say it, there it is. But... Uh, that's still pretty good for, in my opinion, for these, like, uh, P-class cars that are, you know, these very fast cars with a lot of wheel spin and, you know, a lot of downpours, etc. Oh, and because that other guy hit a lap early, he's probably on mediums. And it's starting to rain, so we're going to have to go on to wets here. And this race might be, might become very interesting. It's recommending mediums, but it's raining. I think I'm going to go with wets. Yeah, I think Wets is the play here. definitely feel better than those worn mediums, but I think if we start catching up to this guy, if 
you put mediums on and we start catching him, that could be a good indication of whether or not we made the right call. Good ignoring Wurzla's advice. Hey y'all. I wonder what happened to that guy who did the undercut that was in second. Well, I guess he was in first and then... Yeah, I think we may have made the right choice here, guys, because we're faster than, than this guy who was obviously way faster than us in qualifying and on, you know, in the drive. So I think he made the mistake of putting on mediums and that's led to us, uh, you know, having a better pace here in the wet. person who put on wet look at the gap behind now the everybody else not just this guy right behind me but from third back like what happened judgment instead of just pressing A on mediums because this has definitely paid off. This is great. And for my first race in this series and first time using this car and using an untested tune and yada 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 I cannot say I am disappointed. you put on wets guys because there is no reason that this race should be going like this coming on to the final lap here second place is four seconds behind us and well everybody else is at least 20 seconds behind us which is not super exciting doesn't make for very good racing, but hopefully the uh, just the fact that it looks like we were the only ones to put on wets and uh, that kind of you know dare I say mastermind strategy 
just kidding. Um, you know, has paid off because, you know, we saw rain and decided that rain meant things would be wet. And I guess everybody else didn't. But here's some back markers up here. Just to give you guys an idea of why wets were a good decision and where we're at in relation to most people. Tires are getting a little worn here at the end, but we're gonna go ahead and bring it home. And that is a P1. So, really good race there. Uh, mostly thanks to a strategy that seemed to, <laughs> seems to miss a lot of other people. But, where is the, uh... oh, something happened to the Geronimo. Well, that's unfortunate. He was pretty quick. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps a ton. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.